Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, September 23rd, 2024. Well, we start off this Monday a bit cloudy out there with winds coming in from the east northeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Some locations coming in from the northeast over Pennsylvania. It's from the east. Temperatures range from the upper 50s, mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs, lower to mid 60s in your urban areas with plenty of cloudy skies. And when you take a look at the radar, it looks like showers are developing, but a lot of these showers are not reaching the ground. So you end up with just a lot of cloudy skies. You are seeing rainfall reaching the ground over central Pennsylvania, and that will gradually push into our neck of the woods. But a lot of these showers are going to be a lot lighter than what you're seeing here over central Pennsylvania. And most locations will just remain cloudy and dry. On the infrared satellite picture, you can kind of see the setup here. So let's walk through the parts. First of all, you have the polar jet stream here and the subtropical jet stream here. This feature here is going to be a very important player for some mischief that is growing down here in the Caribbean. We're waiting to see exactly what develops down here and where. There's a lot of unknown in terms of the structure or whatever develops here. But this feature here really locks in the overall organic track here. Okay, so this feature here cuts off as an upper level low in the Mississippi River Valley. That's going to open up the potential for some sort of landfall of whatever this develops into, into the eastern Gulf Coast. But further north, we have this trough in the polar jet stream. This is going to be diving through, and that is what's going to produce a cold front to move through on Wednesday. So we have scattered showers developing starting this evening, continuing on through tomorrow and into Wednesday with this cold front. This drops south, forms an upper level low here. Sounds familiar, right? And this upper level low sets up here, setting, setting up a ridge of high pressure that sets up over the St. Lawrence River Valley by the time we get to the end of this week and making for a very quiet period of weather and shields us from whatever does develop down here in the Gulf of Mexico and makes landfall somewhere over the southeast. It won't allow it to push northward. So we take a look at our visible satellite picture. You see plenty of cloud cover. It's going to be a cloudy day, a bit of a cool day with temperatures in the 60s and 70s, but generally overall dry. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Cloudy skies, isolated shower two by the time we get to the evening hours, high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s over the northern interior, lower 70s along the coast and in your urban areas. Tonight into tomorrow morning, cloudy skies, widely scattered showers, nothing really heavy though. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast. Tomorrow afternoon, cloudy skies, a few pesky showers. Look for high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the region. And on Wednesday, the cold front approaches with, again, cloudy skies. The threat for a few widely scattered isolated showers. Not really looking for anything heavy here at all. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid to upper 60s over the northern interior, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, and lower to mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday, the cold front finally moves through. Now, before this cold front moves through, we're going to continue on this easterly wind. So through this entire forecast period up to this point, we're going to continue to deal with light, uh, should I say minor coastal flooding, anywhere between one to three feet, one to two feet from most locations. So minor coastal flooding continuing because of that persistent easterly wind. But on Thursday, a winds veer to the southwest, cutting short some of this coastal flooding threat, producing scattered showers on Thursday. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s, high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the northern interior lower to mid 70s along the coast and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. Now on Friday, that cold front clears out. It's still a nice late shower threat in the morning, but otherwise scattered cloud cover by the time we get to the afternoon. Low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs, and mid 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures 
in the lower to mid 70s over the interior and upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. Now, notice we have what's left of whatever develops out here in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll step back here. You can see whatever this is marches up towards the eastern Gulf Coast. Don't focus on the exact track because there's a lot we don't know in that respect. But one thing you can focus on is what we call the synoptic large scale pattern. And what that pattern is, you get an upper level low here capturing whatever is actually forming it down here in the Gulf and an upper level low here, and we're caught in between with this high pressure system. So with that high pressure system, we get that northeasterly wind. So again, there's a threat for that minor coastal flooding, but also a maritime polar air mass with low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs and mid 60s in your urban areas, high temperatures in the lower to mid 70s over the northern interior, and upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. On Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, high pressure will be in control, blocked between this upper level low and this upper level low. So this ridge remains in place with Canadian high pressure forcing that north northeasterly wind down from basically the Canadian Maritimes into the northern Mid Atlantic, producing tranquil weather conditions. Temperatures through the period will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s in your suburbs, and lower, I should say, upper 50s to lower 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast, and mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.